Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do another March reading. This reading is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for any time in March. So if it doesn't resonate now, come back and check it out, you know, later on in the month. So yeah, this is for Taurus. We're going to get one of these, then we're going to use this deck right here. Listening, listening, and observing. Listening to everything intently. Taking in your surroundings. Using silence, using silence as a tool. You know, this card is reminding me of the High Priestess for some reason. The High Priestess uses observation and listening and silence to bring her the messages that are going to lead her in the right direction. So I feel like this is a time of, of going within. Really, really paying attention. Listening to your intuition. Hearing the beauty of life. looking beyond the surface, listening to what lies beneath. In your periods, period of listening, really, really listening, you may receive a message out of the blue. Okay, you may receive some sort of message. An answer to a question that you have been asking. If you really take the time to turn off all the noise, and just allow the simple sound of silence to give you the answers that you need. This is going to be a month of really, really receiving the messages that you've been asking for. It is. But the only way you're going to receive these messages, the only way you're going to receive the insight that you truly need, is to listen. So it is. It's about listening. Really listening. Five of Swords. Of course. But it's reversed, so it looks like somebody has decided that they don't have anything to prove anymore. There's no need to battle. There's no need to fight. There's nothing to prove. I just want to be happy. I just want to be happy. I'm ending this battle right now. Ooh, the lovers.
Hey, man, reversed. Judgment. Six of Cups reversed with next to the Eight of Cups. Somebody's letting go. Walking away. No longer clinging to the past. Congratulations. Acceptance. Absolution with a Judgment card. It's over. Forgiveness. No longer stuck. Somebody has gotten unstuck. I just want to be happy. It's time for me to find a new relationship, perhaps a new relationship with myself. Somebody has truly left behind the past in search for new love. And it looks like there's going to be an unexpected offer of love with the lover's card. This is an unexpected choice, an unexpected offer, something that you did not expect to happen. Now, right in the middle of your reading is, this is like rising up, rising up. Something's going to happen really, really fast with that Knight of Swords. Somebody has made a decision that they are moving forward from perhaps somebody that did not have good intentions. We have somebody here that did not know how to love, somebody that was withdrawn and controlling and manipulative. Could have been a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But it's, this is the right across from it, right mirroring it, is the Eight of Cups. Somebody is walking away from a withdrawn, manipulative, emotionally unbalanced person that was not emotionally available to love. Somebody is walking away from that person. It's somebody from your past. It's somebody that... You know, with the Six of Cups that you have memories with. And now there's a choice. There's an opportunity for new love. There is an opportunity for new love here. There's an opportunity for new love for making the decision to turn your back on that situation. It's like... It's like the, the, it's the, the time of enlightenment, the time of hanging, the time of suspension, the time of limbo. It's over. The hangman is reversed. Just like the five of swords, I'm not, I'm not involved anymore. I'm no longer involved in this game. I'm moving forward very quickly. I think somebody has really changed their mindset very, very, very quickly. There's forgiveness here with the, just, with the judgment card. And I think there's a new offer of, of, of love, and that could be self-love. Now, this is, this is relationship, uh, romance, growth, wanting a relationship, wanting love. After acceptance, after forgiveness, after walking away. And when you send that message out, the universe says you're ready by the looks of things. Ooh, interesting, interesting, because before I started this reading, well, I, was, I had started the reading, reading, but I was shuffling this deck, this deck right here. I was shuffling it, and I had my eyes closed while I was shuffling it, and I pictured the page of swords in my head, but I was shuffling this deck, so I didn't, I didn't say anything, and here we go. Here we go. This is the overall outcome, the page of swords. A message, a conflict, a conflicting message. Somebody is going to receive a message that they may not enjoy. Okay? They, it may bring some conflict to them. It may make them feel uncomfortable. This message may come from a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius about this person from the past just saying it may be about this person from the past and you know <laughs> maybe you don't want to hear it 
Maybe you don't want to hear it because you've moved on. You don't want to hear the message. You don't want to hear a thing. You don't want to hear a thing. You're looking for new love, right? You're looking for new love. You don't want to hear it. You've walked away. <laughs> you've broken free, right? You've risen. You, you're no longer hanging on to it, right? You found the courage to let go. You have found the courage to let go and just be happy. Now we have a message coming in. I think this message is coming from an outsider. Okay, this is this message is coming from an outsider. This person doesn't realize that this is a hurtful message. They don't realize it. They they figure, you know, they're just talking. They're just talking. They don't they don't realize the um, pain that it could cause. I feel like there's going to be an unexpected opportunity perhaps to even communicate with this person from the past. I don't know who this person from the past is. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Scorpio. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Gemini. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And Pisces. So it's air or water. We have air and water here. That's what we got here. That is what we have here. That's all we got for cards is air and water. So... Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. That's what's going on here. There's a, there's a message coming in from an outsider about somebody from your past. Maybe this person wants forgiveness. I don't know. I mean, the judgment card is a card of forgiveness. But it looks to me like you have a choice because the lover's card is a choice between two. decisions you're gonna have to make a decision now really pay attention to what this person is saying that's why that listening card came up pay attention and then take time take all the time you need to make whatever decision it is that you have to make you're gonna be faced with some sort of decision Eight of coins. Next to the lovers. This is putting in effort. Working hard. Temperance reversed. Somebody has been working too hard and not allowing. <coughs> oh, that just fell, didn't it? I don't know what happened. Anyway, someone has been working really, really hard and not allowing themselves time to evolve. And that's where this silence comes in. Now, there's, there's lack of, of patience here. There's frustration. There's moodiness. There's lack of peace I feel like you're going to be faced with a decision. You're going to be faced with a decision decision that somebody wants to work with you. <laughs> somebody wants to put in effort, but this person from the past, I think that I think you're okay, you're going to have a choice. And maybe this is your own choice. 
Maybe this person from the past doesn't communicate with you, but you have to choose between this person from the past and a new love. Because the person from the past has not changed. With the temperance card reversed, they have not changed. You may, re -rece you may receive a message from an outsider saying that they've changed. Or even from the person themselves. Words are one thing. Actions are another. Be really careful with what you hear during this month because it looks like you're going to re you're going something very is this is unexpected there's unexpected and this is a card of consequences right next to the 6 of cups reversed somebody from the past has suffered some consequences for their choices now they want to put in effort but they haven't changed or this could go the other way where you th may think that perhaps this person from the past could change. The answer is no. The past has not changed. You have another opportunity for love with the six of, with the, uh, I was going to say six of cups. The six of cups right here, but it's reversed, but this is lovers. This is another opportunity. Lovers card comes up for me when you have to make a choice between two. The wrong one and the right one. What's it going to be? And that's what this is. You may have a choice between a water sign and a air sign. You may have a choice between any of the, the other signs as well because these are all, doesn't really matter what sign they are. You may have a choice between two water signs, okay? You may have a choice between two air signs. It could go either way. Either way. Somebody that you have walked away from in the past may want a reconciliation. I mean, the judgment card can signify a reconciliation. They may speak to somebody, you know, a friend of a friend, that kind of thing. They may speak through another person to get to you. Um, but this person, whoever this person is from the past, has not changed. They have not. You have gotten unstuck. You're moving away from the situation. You notice you're moving away from the situation. You've risen. You've accepted. You've forgiven. Your heart is open. Somebody's coming in with an offer. I think you have too. I think somebody is about to get some sort of wake-up call. This is a wake-up call with a judgment card. And this, this could certainly be a wake-up call as well. Somebody is about to get a wake-up call or go through some, or get some sort of epiphany that they love you or they want to be with you or something like that. The message comes through and you're conflicted over it. You're conflicted. It's like, oh my God, this person's been watching. This person's been watching you. And now, I mean, perhaps, you know, they're, they're heading in. But they're not a trustworthy individual. So I feel like you're going to receive some dishonest communication from somebody. You are. This person doesn't know what they're talking about. So really pay, that's why listening came up. I think that you have somebody on the outside that thinks that they're going to help. They're going to help the situation. They may try to play matchmaker. They may try to, you know, fix something, you know, not realizing perhaps that you've already moved on or not realizing that, you know, you're good, you're not stuck anymore. They, 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 may, they may not know. Either way, there's some sort of, this person, the person that is communicating the message that's coming through, whoever's communicating the message, they don't know what they're talking about. So be careful. That's why it says listening. That's why that's here. Be really, really careful because I think that you're going to receive some sort of message or communication or words or gossip or who knows what it is. Some sort of information from somebody in your circle 
that about your past that shakes things up for you. And I think this person doesn't really mean any harm, but they don't know what they're talking about. They don't know what they're talking about, so be careful. Um, I think that you know that this person from the past is not well suited for you. I think that you know that uh, it's a very negative situation to get involved in. I feel like you know that the person that you're dealing with is immature and childish and that you're no longer invested. It looks to me like you're not you're not invested in this past anymore. It doesn't it doesn't look like you're invested. It looks like you're like, no, get the hell out before you get hurt. You know, it's like, no, I don't want to have anything to do with it. My mind is made up. I think your mind is made up, Taurus. I think your mind is made up that you don't want to do, have anything to do with that negative uh, energy anymore. You know? And it's funny how the universe, God, angels will test you when you are done. Because I see that somebody is done. And now we have somebody on the outside that may not know. They may not know what's going on at all in any of the circumstances and they butt in, you know, bites off, they butt in. Somebody that puts, sticks their nose in. We have somebody that sticks their nose into your business and shakes things up for you. And it's going to be a test. It's going to be a test of your patience for sure. Um... Yeah, things, things, you're definitely, the Eight of Wands, you're definitely going to receive a message. You're going to receive messages. I think you're going to receive several messages because you have a choice between two. You're going to receive several messages, perhaps from uh, several different people. One from the outsider who, who's the, who's the uh, gossip, you know, the one that's uh, butting in. You're going to receive a message from that person. You may even receive a message from your ex. I'm not sure. Um, you may... Uh, somebody from your past. It doesn't have to be an ex. It could be somebody from your past. Most likely an ex with a Six of Cups. It doesn't have to be. But you may be also receive a message from somebody brand new with a lover's card. So I think that you are going to be receiving multiple messages this month that you don't quite expect to receive. And it shakes things up a little bit. Some of those messages will not be truthful with the Ace of Swords reversed. They will not be truthful. They will not be honest. They will not be... Um, positive in any way. They will not be positive in any way. You could be dealing with... You know, whoever the person is that is delivering at least one of these messages is a very... immature person put it that way they don't they don't they just don't even know what they're saying put it that way they just don't have any idea of the impact of their words so beware um either way something's gonna end with this with this night or yeah this is the knight of swords and this eight of wands something's gonna happen fast something is a message is when the message comes in when you finally get this message whatever it is something's gonna happen fast The Hermit reversed. Somebody may be coming out of hiding. Deciding that it's time to, to stop hiding in the shadows. Somebody has decided to stop hiding in the past. I'm coming out. 
somebody is coming out of the memories, coming out, coming out of the Mm, the high priestess reversed. Definitely coming out of hiding. A secret is about to be revealed. Something is gonna cut something is going to be revealed. Oh boy. Oh boy. You got somebody who is gonna tell you something. <laughs> Pay attention. And they may not they may say it. That's why listening is here too. They they, they don't know what they're saying. They may say it in the weirdest words, okay? But there's a hidden message. There's a hidden message behind their words. So pay attention. I think that you're going to receive some sort of news from an outsider who is basically a troublemaker. Nosy. You know, that kind of thing. A nosy troublemaker. Somebody who... You know, doesn't realize what they're saying. They're just gossiping. They're just spouting off at the mouth. Okay, that's what we got here. Somebody who's just like that kind of thing, and they don't realize what they're saying. But but their word, whatever they're saying, you know, beneath their words, there's something more. So really be aware of what you're hearing. Okay. This does have to do with somebody that you have known before because of that Six of Cups is here. There is definitely a revelation with the judgment, the high priestess, the hermit. There's some sort of reveal here. Something, Some message is going to come through that tells you something that you've been wanting to know. Because we, we started this out. Something, an answer that you've been wanting. Something that you have been wanting to know is going to be answered this month through... An unexpected means so really pay attention really okay don't don't speak okay so when this person is speaking just let them go don't interrupt them let them go because they're gonna say what you want to hear it may be in disguise okay it may be in jargon and you're gonna have to decipher it but you will decipher it you will you will because you're gonna get this epiphany the judgment is an epiphany you're going to, they're going to, they're going to speak their words. The, you're going to hear the message and you're going to get the epiphany that perhaps it helps you to keep going. I don't know. Maybe it helps you to accept that new offer. Either way, there's an offer of love coming in. Whether it's somebody from your past or somebody brand new, there is an offer of love. There's two offers here. And and, and whether it's not, I should reuse use a different word than offer. There's two opportunities here. Well, I don't even know if it's an opportunity. We have somebody here that the past is still very prominent. And there's an opportunity for a new romance here. There is. With that, there is. But you have to make a choice. With that lover's card, you have to make a choice. There's consequences for your choice. There is. Do you stay stuck in the past? Or do you put in effort and put in hard work to, to really change? Or do you stay stuck? Do you evolve? Or do you stay where you've always been? basically what I just said do you stay where you've always been or do, or do you evolve to a wands reverse you're at that crossroads do you stay or do you go are you ready are you ready to explore are you ready to broaden your horizons are you ready because you're gonna ha be given the opportunity to get off that fence Something may happen suddenly. It is going to happen suddenly. It is. With this card right over this Eight of Wands, something is going to happen suddenly that... Really...
pushes you outside of your comfort zone. Put it that way. You may, you may, your time of loneliness with the hermit reversed may be coming to an end. It may. Perhaps somebody has been watching you in the background and they're coming in with an offer. You have, you have an, you definitely have an offer coming in here. You do. But you're going to have to make a choice. Do you truly walk away from the past or do you stay there? There's going to be a sudden decision imposed on you. Do you want, do you want this or not? Do you want this or not? You have, a lot of you are so, so, so close to releasing the past. If you haven't already, you are so close. It's like you are just about done with your hermit mode. You are just about done with your period of reflection and solitude. It's just about over. It's time to start over. It's time. It's time for you to fly. It's time for your fresh start. It's time for your new beginning. So Taurus, I really feel like this is a time of you making a perhaps difficult decision between two paths. And perhaps going on your own, the fool starts the new journey on his own. His or her own. We have, a, we have a new beginning here. In which you are going to be. Or you're going to need to have faith. You're going to need to take a risk. You're going to need to leave the baggage of the past behind. You can't take it with you. And I feel like this is the month of absolution and coming out of hermit mode and perhaps opening your heart and allowing something new to come in. This could even be self-love. I feel like you guys have truly made a decision to walk away. You have. To give up on a really five of swords is the first card I mean devastating situation in which you couldn't win no matter what I think you've given it up because it's in reverse that it tells me that you have just said I'm so good I, I, I don't have anything to prove I'm good I don't I'm not even invested anymore. I don't even, I don't, I'm not, I'm good. And, and I feel like because you have made that decision to move on, you know, now you're rising up. You're rising up from the ashes. And you have this new beginning here that, I mean, it is Uranus and Taurus, right? This is a major new beginning here. You are literally the phoenix rising from the ashes and starting all over again. Finally walking away from the past. And you have new love coming around the corner around the corner you have new love coming perhaps in June I feel like right now your life may be a little chaotic maybe you're focusing on your work you're fo focusing on your money you're focusing on
You? You've just barely gotten unstuck. You have. Just barely. You've barely gotten unstuck from a really negative situation. And I think that because this has just happened, you may not be ready for any new romance, but you're getting there. Your time of loneliness is almost over. I'm thinking that right now you're at the very beginning. You're at the very zero, very, 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 very beginning of a new life. I mean, this is just the beginning of Uranus and, and Taurus, right? We were at the very, very beginning. At this time, you're going through some sort of awakening that is profound. It is profound. It is. Therefore, I fear like you may seclude yourself. You may, you may continue to open up slowly. Open up slowly to the world. I think that right now it's about you starting over. Fresh start, new beginning. I think that you have truly made a decision to let go of the past. You're going your own way and you're calling in new love. You could receive multiple messages this month. But I'm not sure that you will accept any new offers of love because I don't feel like you're ready. It doesn't look like you're ready to me. I think that right now you are just about ready. You're just about ready. But I don't think you're there yet. You're close. You are close. But I think right now is a time of maybe it's that final release with that judgment card. Maybe it's that final release. You receive this information. It shakes things up and it's that extra <clears throat> no. Never again. That kind of thing. Never again. That kind of thing. So anyway, Taurus, I feel like you guys are in the best place that you have been in a really long time. I feel like you're probably not willing to get involved in any full-on romance at this time. I don't see that happening. I think you're getting ready for it. I think you are. I think you're getting ready for it. I think this is a time of preparation. Be prepared for a message that, you know, tests you. And it will give you an answer to some question that you had. Maybe it's that last answer that you need to truly walk away for some of you. I'm not sure what this is. Maybe somebody wants you to give them another chance and you should just listen for the hell of it. I don't know. Um, either way, somebody may want a reconciliation with you because that card can signify. This is a, everybody knows that the judgment card can signify a reconciliation. But for me, I don't see it. I don't see it happening. I don't I don't I don't see it being accepted. I don't see it being accepted. I don't see because I see walking away. I see not accepting it. So I see I see not accepting any reconciliation here. Whether it's you or the other person, I don't see a reconciliation. There may be an a talk of a reconciliation, but I don't see it happening. I don't see it happening because I feel like you guys are no longer stuck on that. You're no longer stuck on that past anymore. I just don't feel like you're there anymore. So you're no longer invested in it. I think your mind has been made up. So that's what I see. Um, so in March, the big highlight 
you're going to receive a, a message from somebody. I don't know who that... enlightens you in a way you didn't expect okay listen to what lies beneath their words okay so somebody whether it's an outsider or it's an actual person that wants something from you i don't know you're going to receive a very conflicting message from somebody that isn't what it seems to be okay this message is going to help you in some way. But you're going to have to recognize the message. And just because, I mean, this is March 3rd, okay? The message could come any time in March. So, I know a lot of you are going to think like on March 4th and 5th, oh, this is the message, this is the message. The whole rest of the month, listen to the messages that you receive. Because you could get several answers. I see that this is this is releasing the past. This is what this is about. This reading is about truly releasing the past and starting over. Congratulations. Things are about to get real. You have you have I think that you have new love coming right around June. I think right now you're in the time of preparation and release. Um, I feel like you're going to get some sort there's going to be some, there is going to be a revelation, there's no doubt. There's going to be some sort of revelation, there's going to be some sort of reveal, some sort of truth that is revealed that helps you in some way. But you will miss it if you don't listen. That means don't speak, just listen. One card for Taurus. You may be moving from a water sign to an air sign. Or an air sign to a water sign. Could be a fire sign. Could be a uh, earth sign as well. Could be anybody. Oh, did I tell you there was going to be a reveal? I think I probably did. Discovering truth. You stand in the light of truth. Ain't that the truth, too? You're going to receive a miracle, too. Expect the wondrous to emerge. That is no joke. It's coming. By June, you're going to receive some sort of unexpected offer. Perhaps a new love. But anyway, let me read this one. Discovering truth. If you are in a coupled relationship, by June you may decide to. I mean, this. I mean, you notice the man is covered up in this one right now. The lover, the, the lover's card. The man is covered up. So right now, I think you're on your own. Right now, I think you're on your own. Or if you are in a coupled relationship, you may go on your own. It could go both ways. I see loneliness right now, but it's not really loneliness because it's a time of evolving. It is discovering truth. You stand in the light of truth. Listen to the wisdom that rises from your soul. Oh my God. The very first card is listen. Isn't that funny? Listen to the wisdom that rises from your soul. Even if those around you don't agree. Trust your instincts. Be yourself, whatever the situation, and respond from the authentic place inside. Be starkly honest with yourself. Speak your truth. Live your truth. Walk your talk. Listen to your inner guidance and follow it. You radiate the energy of truth to others so that they can find their truth. If you are facing a decision, which you are, and your mind says one thing, and your heart says another, follow the dictates of your heart, and you'll be on the right path. If you get a nudge to speak to someone or go in a particular direction, 
Don't hesitate. Follow the guidance. On your journey, others may indicate what path you should take and why, and that you are going to have somebody that butts in. You are. On your journey, others may indicate what path you, t you should take and why. You can listen to their advice. <laughs> That's funny. It really is. You can listen to their advice. However, if your heart indicates another way, follow that. There's a place inside of yourself that always knows the truth. Take time to be still to discover the genuine place of knowing within. Often the hardest thing about living your truth is discovering what it is. So it's important to slow down, be quiet, and listen. It's funny, I said, I said this right at the beginning. Slow down, be quiet, and listen to the whispers of your soul. Remember I said don't get rid of being silent, be silent. If there's an area of your life in which you're not being authentic or where you're not in integrity with your values, this is the time to make some changes. Changes. And that is exactly what's going on here. It's a powerful, powerful, powerful time of releasing the baggage of the past. Don't look back. The past hasn't changed. And you have a better opportunity coming. Within the next six months, good luck.